Hi, this is David Williams from iExpert Advisor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the VTS EA Builder. To start a new EA Builder system, from the Welcome screen, select Create New System and then select EA Builder. When you start a new EA Builder, you have the option to change the name of the system. I'll call this system My System. And also, you can select to have drawings created for any of the four common trading functions. Open Buy, Open Sell, Close Buy, and Close Sell. For any item that is checked, VTS will build a skeleton drawing and then add and connect it on the system drawing. I'm going to leave all four items checked. So, this is our main system drawing named My System. You can see the four functions that VTS created for us. They were added and connected on the main drawing. When this expert advisor executes, it will follow the path on this drawing, beginning with the start element. Now, there are three types of functions in VTS. Platform functions that are offered by MetaTrader, like indicator functions and account balance functions. MQL functions, these are functions that contain native MQL code. And drawing functions. Drawing functions are the functions you create using the drawing pad. Now the main system drawing is very similar to a drawing function. The only real difference is that the system drawing is the entry point for the EA, meaning that execution always begins at the start element of the system drawing. So, VTS created four drawing functions for us and then added them to the system drawing. Each of these function elements represents a full drawing. If we double click the caption of the element, it will open the drawing. There's nothing special about the drawing functions that VTS created. We could just as easily have created them ourselves. I'll show you that in a minute. But let's take a look at these functions. There are two kinds, open trade and closed trade. This open trade drawing has a logic element named is open by true, and then a link to the function fn open by. A closed trade drawing is similar. It has a logic element named is close by true, and it's connected to the fn close by function. These are skeleton drawings, meaning they have no logic to find, so if you left this drawing as is, it wouldn't execute the fn close by function because the logic element is closed by true would not evaluate to true. The system will build, but it will show a warning message to let you know that the logic was not defined. This is okay. You are free to leave logic undefined for portions of your EA that you have not fleshed out yet. For example, a lot of traders don't use explicit logic to close a trade. They just let the stop loss or the take profit close the trade for them. Now, let's configure this logic using some of the available price values. For example, I'll set this logic to return true when bid is greater than the close of the last candle. So I'll select bid, I'll select the operator to be greater than, and then I'll choose the close price. Now, the execution of the EA will follow the true path of the logic element when the bid price is greater than the close price of the last bar. In this case, it will result in running the close buy function. But most traders will add some indicators to the drawing and then use those values in their logic condition. So I'm going to go ahead and drag an RSI function onto the pad. and I'll connect it in front of the logic element. And then I'll configure the function. I'm going to set the shift using the new shift dialog to 1, which is the last fully formed candle. I'll hit done. And now I can go and use this RSI value 
in my logical condition. So I'll go to the Choose button. I'll select the RSI function. And I'll just say when it's greater than 70 to return true. Now, we can make this a little bit better if we use the Input Manager to create an input parameter that can be set when the EA is attached to a chart. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new parameter called my RSI period that you'll be able to set when you attach the EA to the chart. I'll give it a default value of 12. And now this parameter is available when we configure the RSI function. I'll set it into the period parameter. And now the period of the parameter will be set each time the EA is attached to a chart. So I can change and optimize that value without rebuilding my EA. Okay, so now let me show you how to create your own drawing function. From the toolbox, New Elements tab, just drag a drawing element onto the pad. You have a chance to set the return type, to add a logic element, and also to change the name of the drawing. I'll just take the default values. We can see here that it created the drawing with a start element, a logic element, and two end elements for true and false. Now I'd like to show you how to add a parameter to your own drawing. Drag a variable element onto the pad and configure it. I'll name it MyParm. Also, set the scope as parameter. And give it a default value. I'll set it to 12. Now connect this after the start element. and save the function. And now I'll be able to drag this function onto the main system. So I go down to functions in the toolbox and I open up my system menu and there's my new drawing. I drag it onto the pad and connect it. And, and now when I select the plus button to configure this element I can set the parameter value. This technique allows you to create powerful, reusable function drawings. Well, this wraps up our intro video on the EA Builder. As you can see, BTS is a very powerful tool. It can help you build just about any trading system. Thanks for watching my video and stop by our website if you have any questions.